In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a running total for multi categories data set. The first thing you just need to click anywhere on this table, click insert pivot table from table range, hit OK, and this will insert a blank pivot table on new worksheet. You just need to move order date on rows field. It will create auto grouping of your date field into month quarter and years but for now we don't want the grouping so i will simply right click ungroup my date feed the next thing i will move my feed stock on rows feed as well and for the value field i will move the quantity orders for now i will click on design and off the subtotal now these are actually the total order quantities on each disk and the goal is to calculate running total for example you can see agriculture feed stock here 77 and here 41 and the goal is to calculate a running total so you just need to right click show value click on running total and here you just need to select order date hit ok and this will calculate the running total even you can update the layout of the table and it will still calculate the running total for example if you move the feed stock field on columns field now this still automatically calculating the running total for each of the feed stock for selected day for some reason you want to calculate the running total for month year so you just need to right click on date field click group in this case i want to group my date field for months and year so i will select months and year hit ok and now we just need to update our running total logic so you just need to right click anywhere show value is running total and now you need to select months order date instead of year order date and hit ok now you can see it calculate the running total for each of the month in a specific year and once the year change it should recalculate the running total now the last thing i will show you how to create the nice visual graph is with if i click pivot table analyze select the field sitting for now i will remove the feed stock field simply remove field select the pivot table click on pivot chart and hit ok and this will insert the pivot chart i will right click and hide all field buttons better to remove the legend as well so simply click and delete and for now i will also delete the title as well now you can do a little bit more formatting but the goal is to show you how you can create a nice visual you just need to click anywhere on pivot table click on pivot table analyze insert slicer and in this case i want to insert slicer based on feed stock column so i will simply hit ok and now this is the overall running total if i want specific feed stock running total i will simply click and this will calculate the specific feed stock running total I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. And if you have any question in mind, please write in comment. Thank you so much.